Hello, differential equation students. In this problem, we're going to find the general solution to this equation. And as you can tell, on the left-hand side, if we ignore this right-hand side, the homogeneous equation would be uh, a linear equation. But with this right-hand side, um, we have a y cubed here, so um, we just can't ignore this left-hand side. Well, it turns out that this is what's known as a Bernoulli um, differential equation uh, with n equals 3. And the n corresponds to this power, y to this power n here. So we can use the transformation of v equals y to the 1 minus n. This was um, derived by Leibniz back in 1696 to solve this equation. Um, I'm going to show, instead of showing this to you in general, I'm going to show you with this specific example where n equals 3. So when n equals 3, that means that v is equal to y to the 1 minus 2 or y to the minus, uh, sorry, y to the 1 minus 3 or y to the minus 2 power. Um, so let's see how that transformation works. Um, we let y equal v to the minus 1 half power. You can see that if v is equal to y to the minus 2, then of course y is equal to v to the minus 1 half. And then when we differentiate y, we use implicit differentiation here on v, and uh, the minus 1 half drops down. We subtract 1 from the exponent. We have v to the minus 3 halves. And then we differentiate v with respect to x. That's implicit differentiation. Now we're going to take these two terms here, y equals v to the minus 1 half, and dy dx equals minus 1 half v to the minus 3 half dv dx. And we're going to substitute it into this equation. Everywhere we see a dy dx, we're going to put this term. Everywhere we see a y, we're going to put this term. Okay, so here we go. Um, dy dx becomes that term, y becomes v to the minus 1 half, and y becomes v to the minus 1 half, and then we're going to raise that to the third power. Let's simplify this a little bit, and you can see that that is now v to the minus 3 half power, and we have a v to the minus 3 halves power here, and a v to the minus 1 half power. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to multiply by the inverse of this term. In other words, I'm going to multiply by minus 2 v to the 3 halves power you're going to see this term disappear, and the 3 halves minus 1 half will give us a v to the first power, and you're going to see that this thing will be transformed into a linear equation, which we know how to solve. So here we go. Um, I multiply by the inverse of this leading coefficient, and just as I claimed, that equals 1, and now we are left with a non-homogeneous linear equation, which we know how to solve using an integrating factor. The integrating factor e to the minus 2x works, so multiply through by that integrating factor. Collapse the left-hand side. Uh, we're going to integrate the right-hand side. We're going to have to use integration by parts. Um, the right hand, the left-hand side now, um, after we integrate, is uh, just this term, what's left inside there. We use integration by parts. I show you this, the um, substitutions here. You can work that out on your own. And then, um, in this next step, I'm going to multiply through by e to the 2x. So um, I'm left with uh, this right-hand side. And now, since we have v, um, we can use this transformation to convert back to in terms of y. And uh, recall that v is equal to y to the minus 2 power. That comes from the original transformation here. So that means that y squared is equal to 1 over v. I just invert each of these. And then um, if I substitute this in for v here, and I take a plus or minus square root, um, I get this for the solution. And that is how you solve a Bernoulli equation. With this transformation, v equals y to the 1 minus n when the equation is in this form, x, y cubed. Okay, good luck.